still working on this demo of Guitar Pro 6. This is the third video on how to actually put notes into a tab once you get it all set up. So, inserting notes in a tab in Guitar Pro is super easy. All you do is you click on the tab and this little tan box comes up. Um, you can move the box around with your arrow keys. Um, up or down moves you up or down. Side to side gives you side to side motions, obviously. And as you can see, it jumped ahead a couple of measures here, but that's one because I didn't put notes in. Um, it has this cool auto-correct note feature where if you have remaining space in a measure, it give, if once you move over to the right, it gives you an extra space to put another note to kind of let you know that, oh, hey, you need to add more to this measure. But anyways, you click on a space and you press a number key on your keypad and it'll show up on the tab. And so what you can do is you can maneuver around and put different numbers in and make your tab. Um, what you can also do is you can stack notes to make chords, stuff like that. And then the like I was talking about the auto measure fill duration thing, whatever they consider it. Um, I've got a full measure right here. So instead of giving me an extra note slot in that same measure, it's going to kick me over to the next measure when I hit the arrow key. So boom, now I'm in the next measure. I could do some more chords and just like so. It's, it's pretty cool. You can do a lot with this. Um, from here, you can either change stuff after you input it or as you go. I find it's easier to get it as close as you can as you go. If I start over, you can select everything and click delete and it'll all go away. And what you can do is you can change note durations as you go. And for most tab people, um, this is not super important because a lot of times you're not regarding what's in the standard notation. But for picky guys like me, I like to be able to have both and I like to be able to input the notes so they have the right duration so that somebody who does know how to read music could read along and play it just off the standard notation, not even have to look at the tab. Plus, it's a challenge for me. I find that by doing that and working it out, my ear gets better and I learn how rhythms are notated so that I don't lose my sense of how to read standard notation. Okay. Um, so, to change the note duration, you can put notes in and for yeah, this will work for an example. What you can do is over here, if you go in the very left sidebar with your option windows, you can open up the notes window, that's the top one, and it gives you all the options of everything you can put on a note. Durations, accents, ties, staccato, wah-wahs, on or off, that kind of, all, all kinds of stuff. And you can click on the note duration up here, and it'll change the duration of the note down here in the tab. So, you can do this and move and change your notes, make different durations. If I want to do that, I could make it um, dotted down here. Okay, um, I'm going to show you some quick shortcuts that make this easier in my book. I find that anything you do on a computer can always be easier if you use shortcuts, for the most part. So, right now I have four eighth notes. Okay. Say I want to make this first one a quarter note. What you do is you could click on the icon here in the sidebar, and that's great. You can do that all day, and it'll work fine. But the shortcut for that is the minus key on your keyboard. You press the minus key, and it'll reduce that note's value by one, or double it, however you want to look at it. It'll get longer if you press the minus key. So you can press minus key, minus key, and it'll go all the way out to a whole note. Okay? To change the note, to a shorter duration, you pressed press shift and the plus key. You gotta press the shift to get to the plus because if you don't press the plus, you're just getting equals and that doesn't do anything. So shift plus, and I can make my notes as short as I'd like. So that's how you change the note duration. And needless to say, as you go along, if you know, say you have one quarter note, I make that a quarter note, 
and then I have two eighth notes. Um, I can keep going along and changing these durations. So let's see, I can go like this and this, this, and this, and then another quarter note. That's going to fill up my measure, I think. I hope I'll look stupid if it doesn't. But yeah. Um, but if you look, it keeps giving you spaces, even though you have like more notes than a f like four quarter notes would fit in a measure. So even if you have more notes than that and they're of shorter duration, it counts that out for you and it'll tell you. And if I make it the wrong duration and I move out of the measure, it, it highlights red so I know that something's wrong in this measure and I should go back and fix it. So that's how you actually put notes in if you want to um, add some uh, different articulations to them. You can add a slide by either clicking the slide button over here, the legato slide in the window, or you can press the S key while you've got the note highlighted and it will make it a slide to the next note. And then you can also do like a hammer on by clicking over here, or you can hit the H key to make it a hammer on or a pull off. So those are some of the most common common little articulations you can do to a note. Um, any of these options here that are um, in white, the dark gray ones you can't click on for some reason or another because you need to have a certain amount of notes selected or the right kind of note. But any of these you can mess around with. They all do amazing things, you know, great things that palm use. I mean, it's all, it's all good stuff. You can use this to really bring out the nuances of any kind of piece. So that's how to input notes. And the next one I might explore, I want to do how to import guitar tabs and change them into ukulele tabs. So we'll see how that goes down. So I'll probably do that for the next video. So stay tuned. Aloha.